Welcome to Kirsten's Backcountry Kitchen. I'm Kirsten Beatty and I'm going to be teaching you how to make pickled eggs today. Sit tight. It's gonna be smelly. Welcome to Kirsten's Backcountry Kitchen. I'm so glad to have you guys back today and I have a great new recipe to share with you. It's actually not a new recipe, it's an extremely old recipe. It is from Bo's great-grandma, Effie O'Beatty, and it's pickled eggs. Now, I know these are infamous. You see them on Randy Newberg's channel. You also see them on all of our hunting trips. That's because Bo's obsessed with them, and their whole family loves them. So when we got married, it was kind of one of those important things that I learned how to make for him because he loves it. Today, I'm going to be using five dozen eggs, and I'm also going to put in um, two packages of Polish sausage. Um, I'm going to link below just the single dozen recipe that is optional to put in half a dozen Polish sausage if you want, uh, but because Bo eats so many, I make a lot at once. Also, it will make your house smell very special for quite some while. It also make, might make your eyes water because it's strong. So we're going to get right to it. The first things that we have to do is we've got to get these eggs boiled. It's going to take about 30 minutes altogether to heat up the water and to get them boiling for 20. I'm also going to, at the same time, cook my sausages. The reason that we do this is to get the grease out of them. Uh, so we want to boil them long enough that it's kind of pulling the fat out of the Polish sausage. That way they last longer once they've been pickled. Um, the other ingredients that we're going to need today are apple cider vinegar, sugar, garlic, pickling spice, and salt. The last thing that you'll need to find is some kind of a container. I'm going to use a nice large glass container, um, or two or three or four, however many it takes to fit all of these eggs and sausages into. So now that you know what we need, let's get started, and I'm gonna show you how to make pickled eggs. While we're waiting for our eggs to cook, we're gonna go ahead and get ready our Polish sausage and cook that in the meantime. Like I said, I'm gonna cut this into thirds, but you can cut yours however you like, if you cut it at all. You don't have to cut it before you boil it, I just think it helps pull the fat out of more locations at once. So this is a 14 count Polish sausage, so it's a lot. You do not have to put any in if you don't want to. But something to remember when you're actually putting your recipe together the more sausage you add, the more brine you need to cover up all of your sausage and your eggs. If you forget to count your sausage as eggs, then they'll stick out the top and they won't be sitting in the brine anymore, now, which can be dangerous. It needs to all be submerged in the brine. So each dozen that I'm going to do, I'm gonna count as a dozen eggs. So since I have 14, I'm gonna count it as like a dozen and a half extra eggs. All right, now I've got all of those. So on the right. I've got all of those cut up, and I'm going to fill this pot up with water and just get it to a light boil on the stove and let that go for a while until I remember to take it off. The eggs have been boiling for almost 20 minutes, so in just a second, we're going to pull them off the stove and just rinse them under cold water, as cold as the tap will go. And I'm going to just leave that tap water running inside of the pot. A lot of us will hard boil eggs, put them back in the carton and throw them back in the fridge, and then we can't remember which one is which. So this might be a trick that you already know, but if not, you can thank my mama for teaching this to me, and I'll teach it to you. A hard boiled egg spins in nice, beautiful circles because it's solid all the way through, whereas a normal egg kind of jiggles back and forth, it can't spin very fast, no matter how much I try to, especially the faster I try to spin it, the worse it gets. But with this hard boiled egg, I know it'll shake right off the table. It's now time to peel all of our eggs. This takes a minute. I helped you, Mom. Ow, what was that? Whoa, it's 
Are you peeling eggs with me? Yeah. Are you good at it? Yeah. Are you the super best? Yeah. I am the kind that likes to compost everything that can be composted. So what I like to do with these shells is just throw them right into my compost pile. If you haven't ever thought about composting, you should research it. It's awesome. Huh? Hmm? What was that? I was cracking my egg. No, that was my bum making that noise. Oh, <gasps> it was your bum making that noise? Yeah. What's your bum doing? He's farted. Your bum farted? Yeah, so I'm excuse me. Okay. Okay, excuse you. Okay. Good job. Now I'm almost done peeling the eggs. Oh, good. And do one more part to find. One more part to find. Is it finished? No, it's not finished yet. It's finished with all the pieces. So it's all done! Did you rinse it off? No, I only need to do it. It's all clean. It's all clean? Are you ready to put it in the jar? Yeah! Okay. Get it. It's a beautiful egg? Yeah, what color the egg? It's white. White. Let's crack it together. Okay, one, two. Mama has one for you. Okay. Thanks, we'll crack them together. Wade's gonna finish peeling up all the eggs. We did all five dozen in about 20 minutes. And with his help, it was really fast. Wait, did we get them all peeled? Oh my goodness, look at that big tower. Thank you for your help, buddy. You're welcome. Oh, you're such a good helper. Ah, I can't believe it. Can you say hi, everybody? My name's Wade. Hi, everybody. My name is Wade. This is Wade, and he's going to be joining us for the rest of making our Ooh. pickled eggs. I mean, he already helped peel all of them, so I guess he gets to be here. Those are, those are hot, you see them? They're steaming. Okay, so I really like when we were um, peeling these eggs, I just put them into this big jar. That way I know that I need at least a container this big. My sausages are gonna need even more space. So that's something that you can do, is put all of it in beforehand, and then that way you know how many different brine packets to make. If you're only making one batch, it's lots easier. <laughs> okay, so while, I am preparing the brine. I'm going to have Wade peel some garlic for me. Can you peel some garlic for me? Once we get all of these garlics peeled, we're gonna peel one per dozen items. So because we have eggs and sausage, um, we have about seven and a third dozen all together. I cut off the end, and then I just smash it with the flat blade of my knife, and then I pass it to my three-year-old and he peels it. Um, I've got just a little bit more than a cup of sugar done, and I'm going to just put that right into my pot. This is a little piece of cheesecloth, um, and what we use this for is to contain our garlic and our pickling spice. And like I said, I have three different containers, and I need one for each one. So when I get all of my, my sugar and my brine boiling, these will all be in their own little packages. Uh, I have a teaspoon, one teaspoon for every dozen pickling spice and I'm going to put just part of all of our different things in each one. So we need 14 cups of vinegar. Do you think we have enough? No. No, we might not. Okay, here we go, it's smelly. Can you smell it? Smell it with your nose. What does it smell like? It smells like Easter time to me.
Count them. One, two, three, four, five. For five minutes. Yes. Ella, we're going to boil it for how many minutes? How many minutes? How many? Five minutes. Yeah. Let's boil it. Yeah. You're going to help me? So this is going to take us a bit, but Wade is going to help me fill up all of these jars with eggs and the meat. Okay, how can we do it so you can reach all of it? Put one egg in each jar. in each one. It's better if you can kind of get it down in there. It needs to at least be touching the brine. Sitting on the top won't help it to continue to season these. So we're going to just kind of try to stuff it down in there a little bit. Every year I think I'm going to buy a funnel so that I don't spill that everywhere. And then every year I forget and I spill it everywhere. That's all right. So we're going to fill it until the product is covered. Oh my gosh. It is so strong. Great. Okay. They are all set. So these, you guys, they just go on the counter now. They just sit on the counter somewhere, room temperature, and they hang out for a couple of weeks. The longer you let them sit, <coughs> oh my gosh, I can't have that right over my feet. <laughs> Woo! The longer they sit, the better that they taste. So let them hang out for a little while. Can you give me a kiss? I'm uh, sure. You didn't, I didn't hear any sound. That's a big one. Whoa. Whoa. Say, see you guys later. Mm. Hey, tell see them, you guys say. later. See you guys later. Bye.